everybody probably wonders, well, you know, how did you get into the dog business? Well, it had to do with uh, somebody I took as a rider in the Ride Local platform back down in Yuma. I got to know him over seven months. He was really passionate about hot dogs. Uh, I've always kind of had a thing for hot dogs as well, just growing up uh, with them. And uh, one thing led to another and inspired us to uh, add it to our fruit cart that we have down in the winter. And we uh, first trial was last year in the winter. We tried the fruit cart and we vended it on the street. We did very well. We only did it three days a week. But uh, with everything transpired with Mike passing and uh, with the hot dogs itself, we decided to go ahead and add it as part of our platform. Uh, kind of crazy thing is uh, being in business, I always know anytime you do anything, if you can increase the amount of ticket item, then you're going to increase the amount of sales. Does that make sense? And then my profitability is going to be more. So if we can do more things within a small area and increase our sales by doing it, uh, our profitability is going to be astounding. <music> decided to do is since we have the citrus why not add uh, lemon shake-ups which is this fresh squeezed lemons uh, since we have availability of lemons we're gonna be selling them in groups of threes and, and dozens we also will use them in our vending as far as uh, lemon shake-ups so we're gonna have a lot of combo meals and we have included the dog with it and then uh, potato chips and a drink but now one of our customers have asked us to include some sweet items so we do have uh, chocolate chip cookies now that we're going to add to part of the combo meal. So as we do this, we're finding out that most of our business, we thought it would be just street vending, getting a spot, taking a spot out somewhere and then vend it. We thought that would be a big business and it is in itself, but then never considered the catering and the delivery aspect of the business as well. We're starting to solidify events, some for 250, some for 120, but events for parties, graduations, uh, gather for a picnic for a company. A lot of times companies in the summer are doing outside events where they can go ahead and have our cart on site and we can go ahead and serve their guests uh, right off the cart itself. So from the hot state to the serving state. Um, another thing that I had decided to do, now the hot dog business as far as being lucrative, the first event we did, we did uh, a little bit over $400. It was a new event, first day they ever had the event, and I thought doing $400 was a decent day. Uh, it was uh, a learning curve for us. We learned a lot on how we're going to serve it, how we're going to present it, as well as our pricing and our meals. Uh, so going forward, uh, we're starting to improve ourselves as, uh, our, I guess, a restaurant tier for street vending hot dogs. Uh, we've been real well received. People really like the shake-ups with the lemon in addition to the dog. We want to make our dog so distinctive that people can't get it anywhere else and they only come to us for that. So many people that aren't satisfied with what their life's at and all they do is complain. I mean 24-7 they complain and they're trying to I guess complain it into a point where your life becomes better. One of the biggest things that we do is that we keep on doing the same dumb things over and over and over. And then we expect different results. The only way you can change things is you have to take some kind of action. I don't care what it is. If you're in your job, if you're working right now in a job or in some type of side hustle and stuff and you're making income and every at the end of every week you can't wait for that paycheck to come again because you're out of money from last week, then you have to change something. You have to do something to drastically change. The trouble with it is a lot of people say, oh, what do I do? 
Well, really, you have to start doing being investigative. You have to start looking out, start looking at different ideas out there. And there's so many of them. I mean, from catering to doing, uh, uh, you can do social media posting. You can do marketing. And there's so many different things, depending on what your background is. I always tell people, if you have a background in your job, if you have a background in your job in that industry, is try to replace that industry into something that could be done remotely. A lot of times, those jobs that we do, uh, the services that we provide, there's companies out there that literally buys those services rather than uh, hiring employees. So they'd rather do that than hire an employee. Uh, they'd rather just buy the services because it's cheaper for them and they don't have to, I guess, uh, purchase it when they don't need it. So use it when you need it. When you don't need it, they don't. For a company, it makes sense because it uh, increases your bottom line. So that opens up a big market, and especially when the pandemic opened up. Uh, remote work really did. A lot of companies have gone to remote work and then they will never ever go back into the brick and sticks mortar type of business. Uh, some of them are only going to keep their size. They're going to expand their brick and mortar and then the pandemic caused them to go remote and, and they found out it, it was a pretty good business model in order to build their business and become more profitable. So the secret to it all is to, you have to do something outside of what you're already doing. So if you are working in a job, you have to do it outside. So the hard part about starting is that normally you're working 40 hours a week, eight hours a day. And then if you have family, you also have things to contend to with children and with family. But you have to carve some time away outside of that job in order to make it uh, advantageous for you to build a business so whether it's just a side hustle or anything you have to take an hour or two hours you have to do a lot so I started when I did do it I started a couple hours a week and then it transformed into more because generally when you start doing something you start making good money and you start enjoying what you're doing you're gonna put more time into it and that's really how it works so when you first start at first you're overwhelmed by everything you have to do and uh, you feel like a lot of anxiety and stuff, but don't get overwhelmed. Take it one step at a time, one piece at a time. It's almost like when I first got into business, can you imagine? I had so many things I had to think about, and I never, ever completed every task I wanted to do every day. And I just got accustomed to get used to that and said to myself, okay, you're not going to complete everything that needs to be done. That will be an impossible thing. So you're in a different type of lifestyle where you have to work and decide to pick out three most important things every day that you're going to work on. And those are the ones that you only can really want to accomplish. Now, sometimes I'll pick out three things and then four or five uh, I, will, I will accomplish because it just it was a good day. But my number one is I pick three every day of what I'm going to do. And number one is the most important, uh, which would be sales. Either uh, sales is about the most important thing you can do increase, increasing your revenue. So that's my first thing I do every day is I do things in order to increase my revenue. The second thing I do is I do things to reduce my costs. So in other words, my overhead because I want to maximize my profitability. And the third thing can be anything from anything that needs to be done. So it, from... Uh, uh, going out and having to purchase a cabinet for a particular purpose or whatever. But I always take three things every day, and the first thing I always do is dealing with revenue. And that way I'm always in a, I guess I'm always in a forward step of increasing my revenue because I'm always consciously uh, working on it. It's my primary goal to work on. Now, some people say, well, how much revenue do you need? Well, that all depends. Sometimes uh, with revenue, you can help other people. If you find somebody that's, that's uh, not having basic needs met, you have extra money to at least help others. So that's the, my primary focus. The second reason is that it gives me freedom, right? The more money I make, the more freedom I have, the more better choices I can make every day about what I choose to do. So it's not always about making money, and that way it gives me more free freedom to do things I want to do.
rather than things I have to do. So it's a process. It takes it takes a while to do, uh, but you can be up and running within. I think within the first 30 days, I was making income uh, on the thing that I started, which was my Green Coat 2 with the air ducts and carpet cleaning. There was a period of time up to that, though. It was almost like it wasn't a trickle of income that was coming in. It was almost like you didn't get no response, no income, and then all of a sudden, boom, it was like uh, the floodgates opened and uh, the, the kitchen sink was turned on. And then then I started getting it. But that was all because of the wheels I was creating. And I, I'm going to put out a video about that, how to create wheels where you don't have to spend time to keep things rolling. And really, they literally just uh, ping off income to you. But, that, but it takes time to set up, and so you set them up, and that's the whole thing. Otherwise, you would be spinning your wheels all the time with uh, different types of apps, different types of income streams. This way you can control it, and then you can also manage it in a way where uh, it can be at a level which you like for your lifestyle or the type of work that you like to do as well. Because we all don't want to work all our lives and we don't want to work the maximum amount per week we'd like to work 20 hours a week and maybe have the rest of the week take care of it but depending on what we we think about work too because there's different types of work no one ever told me a long time ago that when you get into something make sure uh that it's not physical because the older you get the harder it becomes and i've experienced that so that was a fault i made but it was a good income producer and it's and it was my platform that got me off to other different ventures. Anyhow, if you like what you hear, go ahead and uh, hit, the, hit the subscribe button below. And then uh, if you want to hit the notification bell, I'll alert you at every video that I come out with. Thank you for watching. But if you like what you see in this video, and you're looking to not only reduce your debt, but you're also looking to increase your income, I ask that you subscribe below and hit the notification bell and that way I'll notify you every time a video comes out. But if you like what you see in this video, and you're looking to not only reduce your debt, but you're also looking to increase your income. I ask that you subscribe below and hit the notification bell, and that way I'll notify you every time a video comes out.